As I've hinted several times at you guys, I'm not actually consuming honey. There were several days of eating where I tried eating large amounts as opposed to the animal fat I've consumed in the past because I'm suffering from iron overload issues. The liver excretes iron in the bile when you eat fat. Plus, the vitamin A in the beef fat greatly increases iron absorption. In a healthy metabolic state, I don't think I would have an issue with the beef fat or any animal fat, but for now I'm stuck with carbohydrates that don't cause the same iron release and reabsorption. I hope most of you watched my gout video where I actually had a severe gout attack from consuming honey every day, and that's some of the worst pain I've ever been in. This is due to the high fructose content of honey, as well as the lack of vitamin C and potassium, which is present in foods like fruits that would prevent gout. I think I've made it clear on my channel that honey isn't really a good solution as a sole source of carbohydrates. I even made a vitamin C video recently showing you guys how to supplement it and incorporate it into a carnivore diet that doesn't really have enough to be optimally healthy. Unfortunately, a couple of paid actors have grown very keen of the honey diet idea uh, without understanding anything about nutrition. Maybe they missed a few of my videos, but what are you gonna do? When you look at honey on paper, it might be the best food from a pure energy perspective because the glucose and fructose are purely available. Normally, in a carbohydrate, even table sugar, your body requires enzymes to break down the food. In the case of honey, it does not. Problem is, honey still has that fructose and it lacks the nutrients needed to reduce insulin load, mainly vitamin C as we mentioned earlier, and it's high in salicylates, uh, which is an anti-nutrient that can cause problems to certain people in high amounts. If you don't get fatty liver and gout from consuming a jar of honey every day, consider yourself lucky. And it might not happen in a day of consuming honey, but you know, if you're eating eight, 10, 12, 16 ounces of honey per day, it'll happen in about a week or two, very quickly. It appears that any other carbohydrate source, even like organic sourdough bread, white potatoes, is a better source of energy. Most people feel way better using fruits compared to honey, even those starches I just mentioned. They have more vitamins and minerals to reduce insulin load and are higher in water, therefore more hydrating. But the goal of consuming any energy source, whether it be fats or carbohydrates, is to give your cells glucose. Since all cells in the body use glucose as energy, you know, becomes pretty obvious that we would want a pure glucose source, if it exists, that is. That brings us to a product I've been incredibly excited about over these past few weeks, and I actually thought of this last year, but I didn't think it could be done. Thanks to the culinary expertise of my business partner, Adam, we have found a way to create a high glucose honey. Normally, Honey has between 34 and 45% glucose, the remainder being fructose, so still incredibly stressful on your liver, you know, causing those problems like gout. This honey is over 95% glucose in a raw state, arguably the most natural and best source of energy that exists. Pure glucose from nature straight into your digestive system. The only downside is that it's very, very difficult to produce. All other plant foods and nutrition sources have far more downsides. They tend to have more anti-nutrients than honey, components that require more enzymes and processing by the body, especially the starches and the fructose. Yes, we've been eating these natural foods for many years and our bodies are meant to process them, but modern problems call for modern solutions, especially less stress on your digestion. Since you're removing the enzyme requirement and metabolic stresses of digestion on the body, we can recover from many of these modern ailments, oxidative stress caused by past lifestyle choices, health problems, higher Wi-Fi environments that really cause dysbiosis and gut bacteria issues. This is also, of course, the best performance supplement you could use. 
minimally inflammatory, pure glucose, and whatever type of athlete you are, this will fuel your body more effectively than anything possible. I really think this will open up a lot of doors in many areas of health and fitness, whether someone is trying to optimize their diet from an anti-aging perspective, temporarily fix a gut issue, to more extreme things like carving up for a marathon, bodybuilding competitions, or even strongman. What I like to use this for is whenever I artificially increase my caloric intake past something natural, I consume this instead. If you think about it, yeah, you can consume a normal amount of protein, a normal amount of carbs, a normal amount of fat, whatever, and you will be perfectly healthy, granted the food quality is high. But regardless of how good the food quality is, you will always stress your digestive enzymes, your digestive system, when you consume excess calories. Now, if we can make the calories more digestible or perhaps add more enzymes in the form of supplements, that's how we can optimize our health, this being the best tool for the energy component of our diet. So it's nature's glucose. Uh, we have three sizes available, and the label says four ounces, eight ounces, and 16 ounces. Uh, but that's actually incorrect. So this is five ounces, this is 10 ounces, and this is 20 ounces. So, you know, add one, add two, and add four. Uh, that's what you're getting. On the label we put, uh, we removed as much fructose as possible from raw honey to provide the most natural energy source available, raw honey glucose sourced from local New York beekeepers, and then we process it to uh, remove the fructose. Now the main way to tell if something is glucose is it's not really that sweet. So when you taste this, when you put this in your mouth, it's gonna be a delayed sweetness, maybe two or three seconds. And this isn't like taking you know spoonfuls and spoonfuls of honey, which is incredibly, incredibly sweet. So you guys will definitely see more of this in my upcoming day of eating videos. Uh, the two main ways I've been using this lately are straight out of the jar and I like making a lemonade so I'll take you know some filtered water, some lemon juice and I'll put in you know three, four, five tablespoons of this and you can get really crazy and make like six, seven, eight hundred calorie pure glucose shakes but that's usually too much for your digestive system at once. I mean it's been quoted that the brain requires you know, 120 grams of glucose per day, and that doesn't include the, you know, other energy your body uses physically. So, you know, a safe bet to me is, you know, two or three tablespoons at once, and then you would do that throughout the day in increments. You know, you don't want to take, you know, 200, 250 grams of glucose at once, because, you know, your body would more efficiently use it if it was given it in increments over the period of the day. So we have this available on frankiesfreerangefoods.com. I know you guys are familiar with frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Uh, we are now offering non-perishable products like the Nature's Glucose, as well as our whey protein on frankiesfreerangefoods.com. In another two or three months, we might have some more products online, but I really wanted to launch this on its own website. I just figured it would be better to, you know, have a couple things together for now uh, so that you guys can get, you know, a bunch of our products. I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think, uh, what your initial impressions of this are, and of course, uh, when you guys try this out and use it for yourself. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, as I just mentioned, frankiesfreerangefoods.com to check this out. And then you can go to frank-stefano.com uh, to see all of my websites on the homepage. Uh, so if you guys can please just drop a like on the video, leave me that comment down below, subscribe if you haven't, and make sure the notification bell is selected. I will see you guys for a live stream later at 8 p.m. and I can answer any questions you guys may have about this.